ChatGPT is a game changer if you're trying to learn to code. There's a lot of developers out there who are scared of this new technology because they think it's going to replace their jobs. I actually put a video out a couple weeks ago talking about how I don't think that's going to happen. I'll put a link to it at the end of this video. But instead of being scared of this new technology, I'm going to show you how you can use it to learn to code twice as fast. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. And if I do teach you how to become a blockchain developer on this channel, you can use these exact tips and techniques to learn any programming language really quickly. And so if you want to see more videos just like this, then make sure you smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to break into the blockchain industry, which is positioned for massive growth in the 2020s, I can show you to do that, increase your salary well past 100K over at dappadversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, so let's talk about how you can use ChatGPT to learn how to code twice as fast. So let's think about one of the biggest things that holds people back when they're trying to learn how to code, which is they get stuck. And a lot of times when you get stuck, you stay that way for hours or maybe even days. But what if you had access to a person sitting right next to you who you could ask questions to, like, you know, hey, why isn't my code working? Or can you explain this code? Or can you give me some hints on some instructions about how I can do this step by step without giving me all the answers? You can remove a lot of this hang up time or you don't stay stuck for very long. And that's what could cause you to learn twice as fast. And I'm not just making this up. This is actually backed by data where software engineers completed a coding task in less than half the time with an AI a coding assistant like GitHub Copilot. And to my view is this actually applies to learning to code too. So let's show some ways that you can do that. All right, so the first way that ChatGPT can help you learn to code faster is that you can get it to explain code for you in English or maybe whatever other language that you speak. So it's really common when you're learning to code to encounter something new that you just don't understand. Maybe it's a, a data structure or maybe it's like some aspect of the programming language that you haven't covered yet. So for example, I've got this on my screen here. This is from an actual tutorial project that I've put out on my channel. And here you've got a basic for loop in JavaScript. Now, a lot of people watching this video are going to know exactly what that is, but this is a common thing for people to approach something like a for loop and be like, oh, I haven't covered that, or maybe I'm fuzzy on what that does. So you can actually take it, all right, copy and paste it, put it in a chat GPT and just say, explain this code, okay? And it tells you back in English, it initializes an empty array called homes, it uses a for loop, it makes several requests and then returns an array of all the data that you need. Okay, then you can be more specific and say, hey, what exactly does this line do? You know, highlighting the syntax of the for loop because you might not know what these variables I mean, you might not know what this plus plus means. And it basically tells you in English that it's instantiating a variable called I that sort of keeps the count and you keep increasing the value and executing the loop as you increase that value until it's reached the total supply. And then this actually increases the value by one each time the loop runs. And so that's for just a small code snippet, but you can actually take entire files or entire scripts that you're just, you don't understand. You can paste them into chat GPT and it can explain to you step-by-step step what they do. So here's an example. This is a script that I've written in another one of my projects, okay? And I'm just gonna like copy this entire thing and put it into chat GPT and it's gonna explain to me in English. I'm not even gonna tell it what programming language it is. I'm not even gonna tell it what the project does. It's just gonna explain it. I just say, what does this code do? Here's all the code. And it basically returns me a five bullet point explanation that just says, hey, this is for a decentralized cryptocurrency exchange that uses the hard hat development environment for Ethereum. So it already recognizes the framework that I'm using. It already understands the blockchain that I'm using. And it tells me everything that it does. It gets the accounts that are connected to the network. It fetches two different ERC-20 tokens, gives them to investors, adds liquidity to a DEX, and executes some transactions that seeds the decentralized cryptocurrency exchange. And it's like, man, that's powerful. All right, so another way that you can use chat GPT to learn coding faster is to give you project ideas that match your skill level, okay? So, you know, when you're learning to code, one of the best things you can do is actually create projects on your own from scratch without explicit instructions, because that's how you get functional coding skills rather than just following step-by-step -step tutorials. Tutorials are great to start off with, but at some point you start learning to write code for yourself. But this can be mind boggling and you feel like you have a creative block because you don't know what to create or you don't know what actually matches your skill level and ChatGPT can help with that. So here's an example. You know, give me five beginner smart contract project ideas. So it just rattles them off pretty quickly. A token contract, it even gives you a description, like create a smart contract that implements an ERC-20 token. This will allow you to create your own cryptocurrency that can be traded on various decentralized exchanges. And I can actually tell you that a token contract is one of the best things you can create as a beginner because it teaches you the fundamentals of the programming language and a really great use case for blockchain. So it does the same thing for crowdfunding contract, auction contract, voting contract, lottery. You can see the descriptions there on the screen. And you can also do the same thing for other programming languages as well. You know, I do a lot of JavaScript in this channel. So I said, hey, give me five beginner JavaScript project ideas. Let's say you want to work on some JavaScript outside the context of blockchain, just focus on the programming language itself. And it says, you know, sure, here are five beginner JavaScript ideas. You know, to-do list app, create a simple to-do list application where users can add, edit, and delete tasks, a random quote generator, a calculator, 
weather app or memory game, okay? And we've seen lots of tutorials for this type of thing floating on the internet. And so it does a good job of matching those with your skill level. And so if you wanna take one of these ideas and get some hints on how you can actually build these out, well, that brings me to my next point, which is you can use ChatGPT to give you step-by-step -step instructions without giving away the entire code solution, okay? So let's go back to the example of, you know, five beginner smart contract project ideas. Once it lists those out in English, you can just talk back to the model and say, okay, can you list out the steps for creating the token contract? Like that was the first example that it gave. And it says, no, sure, here are the basic steps for creating an ERC-20 token smart contract. You know, choose the name and symbol for your token, define the total supply, you know, define the number of decimal places for your token. It tells you the functions that you're going to have to have. So you can go through and implement these step by step, you know, function by function. But you might still be kind of stuck and say, okay, those are my steps, but I still don't exactly know how to get started. That's one of the biggest problems. Beginners are like, okay, I kind of get it, but I just, I don't know how to put one foot in front of the other. And so what you can say is, can you give me a hint of the first line of code that I should write for this? Please don't include the final solution. Just get me started. And it says, sure, here's an example of the first few lines of code you might write when creating an ERC-20 token in Solidity. Okay, let's contract my token. Here's the, you know, the variables for the name, symbol, total supply, the constructor function that sets those. And then it says, you know, to do, implement the rest of the ERC-20 standard functions. And so that's how you can go from, I know I need to build a project. I don't know what to build. It can give you some ideas. You can pick an idea. It can give you the basic steps and it can get you started. We'll do the same thing in, in JavaScript. Basically, we asked for some JavaScript ideas a minute ago. And then we can go back in the same, in the same session and say, uh, can you create the steps for generating the random number generator that you mentioned? And so here's, here's what it is. And, you know, I gave you some codes. So you might say, okay, can you redo the instructions to not include the code solution? So sure, here's the steps, one, two, three, four, five, okay? And you say, hey, can you help me show the code for step one only, right? If you don't wanna see the entire thing, but I just wanna get started. And it says, sure, here's the example of the button that I mentioned in step one. All right, so another way that ChatGPT can help you learn code faster is you can just ask it to create complete applications for you. Okay, now, generally speaking, these are gonna be simpler applications rather than big complex applications that you might create at a job. But that's actually a good thing if you're learning how to code because then you can just see the final code solution for simple apps that you might wanna create yourself. So here's an example. I said, please write the Solidity code for an NFT called the Bro Collection with the symbol called Bro. You know, it should have a maximum supply of 10,000 NFTs. Each NFT should be minted from scratch and cost 0.1 Ether, okay? And it just spits out the entire Solidity source code for this, including the libraries that you want to import in order to, you know, make this happen. So it gives you kind of an explanation of this, but then you can also take that and run it back into the first step that I mentioned where, you know, the AI can just explain the code for you. So. It might give you the final code solution, but you still may not be 100% sure how it works. So you can sort of pipe that back into the initial step that I said and say, hey, can you explain how the code works step by step? And it can give you a, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 14 point explanation. All right, so another way that ChatGPT can help you learn to code faster, and this is one of the most important steps because it can get you unstuck faster, is it can tell you why your code is not working in the first place, okay? And this kind of ties into a bigger skill of just how to find answers for yourself as a developer, okay? When you become a professional developer, you need to learn how to use Google and then fix your own problems. But now that you have this AI tool, you have a tremendous superpower that wasn't necessarily available with Google. So I'll give you some examples of common things that you might encounter and how AI can help you fix those faster. So I've got a code you know, sample pulled up right here that I intentionally created a bug in, all right? That's pretty common, especially for new developers. And I just copied this entire file, okay, and then pasted it into ChatGPT and said, can you explain why my code doesn't work? All right, I explained, you know, what I think the error is. So I said, I can't seem to get the messages uh, to load in my chat app. So that's what this app is, the chat app. And right now the messages aren't loading. I broke it on purpose. This is an intentional thing. So ChatGPT says, hey, it looks like you might have a typo in your code causing the messages not to load. All right, in the following code block, socket on connect, okay, you know, you misspelled the word connect and you can see it right here. And this is a common thing that I see all the time with beginners. It's a typo, it's a spelling mistake that is not part of the actual syntax, the coding language itself. Therefore, you don't see it caught by any type of compiler or server or error in your console or anything like that, but ChatGPT can actually find it for you. You can do the same technique anytime that you experience an error, maybe in your terminal or any place that you see your app basically just blow up and you're not really sure why. Sometimes you can copy and paste these things into Google and it will give you good answers 
But, you know, ChatGPT will be actually able to explain the errors that a machine gives you in English. Okay, so I just copied and pasted this. Basically, what's happening is I was compiling a smart contract in Solidity, and it wasn't compiling properly. I mean, I know what the problem is because I'm a developer, experienced developer. But, you know, beginners may not understand this stuff. Okay, so I just said I got this error in my code. What does it mean? I just pasted in the terminal output, and it explains that, you know, the error message uh, is a syntax error that it's missing a comma and you can fix it like this, basically on this specific line, just add a comma to the end of the line. And that might be a lot harder to understand as a beginner if you're not able to read this, you know, error message the machine is telling you. And another way that you can use ChatGPT like a better Google is you can ask it for how to do specific things with, you know, programming languages or libraries that you're not 100% familiar with. So let's say you're trying to get into blockchain and you know you want to do this specific thing this technique maybe, but you don't know how to write the code to do it. Well, you can explain to ChatGPT exactly what you want, and it can give you some starter code to help you, you know, speed that up. So I just said, how do I send an ERC-20 token with Ethers.js? Basically, that's just a cryptocurrency that's powered by smart contracts. Ethers.js is the most popular library for interacting with the blockchain in JavaScript. So it just says to send an ERC-20 token using Ethers.js, you can follow these steps. It gives you the steps one, two, three, four, five, or up to four. Uh, with the coding right there. But then you can, you can also just say, can you just show me that in a complete script? Okay. And it'll compile it all into a script. You got to fill in a couple of places here. But then you can use that knowledge uh, to port that into your app. Okay. Maybe you want to copy and paste the script. It's a standalone thing just to make sure it works first and then find the really potent, important part that you need to put into your app after that. And this is way faster than trying to look at some documentation. Basically, you've got all the documentation inside of a model. All right. So those are some of the top ways that you can use chat GPT to learn how to code faster, okay? So I hope you liked this video. As always, smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And if you like what you see in this video and you wanna become a blockchain developer, break into an industry that's positioned for a ton of explosive growth in the 2020s, I can show you how to do that. You can check out any of the free courses on my YouTube homepage. They're like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. And if you like those and you wanna take the next step or hey, maybe I'm taking master stroke entirely, I should have mastered blockchain step by step from start to finish, break into the industry, increase your salary well past 100K over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. Okay, you have to be an expert. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.